My husband is blind, and this is part two of how we planned our wedding. Yes, so if you missed part one of the story, then find it there where you'll find our whole relationship story up until this point. Matthew, uh, where did we leave off? <laughs> like, literally, this was moments ago. We picked Mexico. Z Wantaneo. Right. A beautiful bed and breakfast run by Umberto and Jesus, who yes. agreed to host and help us plan our wedding. Yes. And they plan never, it. They'd never done it before. That's They're a like, big thing. We'll host it. We'll plan it. Just email us because they were like, you know... They're down on that end. They so have all like, the access to everything down there. So the like flowers. They were like, "What flowers do you want?" And we said, "What's in season? What's traditional?" Like, right. We didn't want to say like petunias and begonias, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. "Can't get that." And that's not you know. We right. wanted to go with whatever was like in season and traditional for for Mexico. Yeah. And that is a cool thing that we both agreed on right off the top. Why not just embrace all the traditions as of many as Mexico? we can? And let's not import an American wedding no there no let's honor I mean, we, we, where we are we were gonna like bring some of our own stuff anyway but as much as we could yeah let's do what 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 would be traditional so it so was like dinner because we we're gonna do the wedding up on the rooftop with the infinity pool and then we we're gonna do a the reception right after same place same place oh and i want to mention this this is really important one of the really alluring parts of ha having the wedding on the rooftop two really important things was that it was an open air space and it was going to be during daylight hours, very bright. For me especially, it was so important that it be outdoor and bright. What are you doing? Those eyes need I thought you were pointing to my cheeks. No, that was as close to your eyes as I wanted to get without poking. <laughs> oh, you're so thoughtful. So obviously that allowed me to see and experience so much more of this special day, which was really important yeah. to us because indoor events are often even very challenging for me to see yeah. unless there's like all floor to ceiling windows. Yes. So you weren't worried about like falling off the edge the of edge, this, no. the infinity pool. <laughs> there were there were measures for that. Railings, they're there called. Were, yes, they put measures in place. They're called railings. <laughs> and so uh, that was that was really cool that we were going to be up there during the day. Also, the second cool thing was I was so adamant about this, Matthew. I really, really, really wanted to time our vows with the sun setting. So I looked up when the sun setting. It was 6.05 p.m., December 15, 2019. I was like, we need to be saying I do just as that beautiful little sun is kissing the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> okay, so we'll get to whether or not that actually happened, but that was my plan. Okay. They were like, what food do you want for dinner? And again, we said... What would be traditional? Mm -hmm. What's what's gonna taste good this time of year? Yeah. What's in season? Um, you pick. Yeah. You'll love it. Yeah. So the emails, you did all the corresponding with the emails. How? What was that like then? Was it just? Well, I felt bad mm. a little. Why? And how I'd like put everything on them. No, I don't. I think... would just be like, really? You whatever is you know. I, maybe they wanted me to have like Brussels sprouts and purple <laughs> carrots sautéed in a brown butter. That's no, rick. no, I, I, okay, everybody weigh in in the comments. Do you think the wedding planner wants a very specific, detailed, persnickety, picky person or somebody who's literally like anything you want? You just like, you pick what's, what's what in about, season. What about in between those two? <laughs> I know. We, so, yeah. I mean, the, the cake, uh, the, cake. the wedding cake. Yep. He's like, what do you want? And we're like, what's traditional? I do remember this though. I actually remember you and I, to oh. your credit, searching before we answered, oh, googling so what is a something. traditional Mexican wedding cake, and of course, what came up? Tres leches. Tres leches. So we, and I think you may have found a, a couple different ones. You threw those at him. I think he said one of the ones wouldn't be possible at that time of year. Yeah. And I don't know what the reason was. Yes. Tres leches was. Yes. Yeah. The flowers, the dinner, the food, the cake, mm -hmm. uh, everything about it. We just left up oh, to them the it was music. so easy oh the music oh we're gonna get to the music but he said do you want musicians and by email we said no 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 i like how i demonstrate what did you do it looks like a piano oh i'm you typing were, you, were, okay, you were typing oh okay let me, let me show you this is what i'm doing <laughs> oh thank you can you do that again anytime you do a visual okay now i, I need understand. to do it on you now i understand so when i say i punched him all the go like yeah, this ah. yeah there you go you can feel it and then poke my face again like you did earlier that was good <laughs> 
So when it came to musicians, I told Paul as a wedding musician, right, for many years, yes, played at hundreds of weddings, yes, if not, became thousands. so jaded, so jaded. I said, I do not want a <laughs> single musician at my it's wedding. I wonder you even wanted to get married. No. <laughs> No music. And here's the thing. No music. It'll here's, be a somber, I, quiet no. funeral. And I said, I am I happen to be one of Matthew's biggest fans because Matthew is an incredibly talented violinist. He played his violin on our first date for me. It was the moment I realized he was the one. Really, while you were playing the violin, I was like, I don't know if this guy is going to be like my soulmate match, but I know... I want to know this person for the rest of my life. Like this was it, to watch you play your violin. So I begged Matthew. I said, I know you don't want to do this. I know you have played your violin at so many weddings, but please, 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 please for me, play your violin at our and, wedding. And, and you said, no, absolutely not. <laughs> but, but that's the, that's, that's later. Shh, that's later. We'll see. Maybe that's later. The sunset. Zip the, it, the, lock yeah, it, put, put it in, in your pocket. pocket. <sighs> so, so. <laughs> Everything was so easy. It we was just told easy, them, breezy. You know, thank you so much for planning all this. Just can I tell you guys something? Is, yeah, it was crazily easily, crazily, crazily easily. easily. It was bizarre because, like, I always thought planning a wedding was going to be a very stressful thing. Neither of us turned out to be a groomzilla. Neither of us had that kind of energy. It was too easy. It was so laid back. I could, we could, I could get married every week and we put if it was this easy. Our full trust into him. We had very little money. Obviously, the most expensive part of our wedding ended up just being buying the tickets to get down. There. Lights. Oh, I what? wanted to talk about the clothing. Oh, right. Very important. What were we going to wear? We wear? And we talked this is about Mexico. Yeah. It's going to be warm. And I'd always imagine getting these beautiful bespoke like Italian suits to, with, with bow ties and everything to get bow married ties? in. I wanted bow ties for a wedding. An Italian suit with a bow tie. Haven't you ever seen that? You're Is that look, a thing? You're gonna look like a, a lawyer. <laughs> okay, Matthew. Or a judge maybe. <laughs> or a really stodgy university professor. With the patches. An Ivy with, I want the patches on my elbows. Is okay. this a thing? I've seen it. Do you wear a bow tie with yeah. a bespoke Italian suit? Why not? But we couldn't do okay. it anyway. It didn't no. matter because it was absurd. I was like, I'm not going to wear a suit. It was going to be very hot. I'm going to sweat through that thing. It's very warm. Two seconds. 80 degrees. Or at, higher. At, or higher in this like late part of the day. 80 degrees felt like 100. I th well, we'll get to what the actual temperatures were. Oh. But like we knew that it was going to be warm. So we were like linens. Linens. Light, light linens. white linens. But guess what? Is really really hard to find in Seattle in December, and yes, we waited that long to get yes. our clothes. You in can't... December, <laughs> yeah. we finally decided to look for we white need to go linen. Get our... Finally, we had to do something that Umberto couldn't do: was yeah. get our clothes. We're like, oh, uh, damn so it. we went to every store we could mm -hmm. think of and said, yeah, yeah we're looking for um, white, white linens. linens, and they were like, wrong time of year. Yeah, we have six we months have, ago, like, big coats. And Everyone boots. gave us strange looks. We had to explain why we yeah. were looking for white linen outfits. <laughs> we had this picture and of we like tried. We tried so linens. hard. And nothing. Nothing was available. And nothing. So we did this really crazy thing. We 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 ended up asked, getting our shorts. We did get shorts. We, we ordered a pair of we, matching shorts. Okay, we did that. Were they linen? I don't know. They were gray. They were nice shorts. And that but the I, thing I that wish we decided, had white linen. Me too. I think pants, pants actually. actually. Yeah. Flowy. Yes. And then we decided we will find the shirts in Mexico because they will surely have them there. And we asked Umberto and he said, yes, there's a little place I can take you to. Right. They have the traditional um, shirts. Shirts. You know, they're, they're cut flat across the bottom. They don't tuck in. They button up. They're white. And they they have, have the like floral embroidery. Embroidery up both yes, panels. Yes, beautiful. So we had thought, okay, that's what we want. So we're going to show up with... Well, a few days before the wedding. Nothing to wear. Except and shorts. just hope that we can find these yeah. shirts so that we're not, you know, wearing this down the aisle. So, yeah. I mean, that was everything. And it was easy. Everyone had their flights. We had our flights. It was just time to, like, get on a plane and mm -hmm. head there. Yeah. Very exciting. Were you nervous at that point or just really excited to get down there? No, I was so excited. Yeah. We'd been there before. We'd stayed at this bed and breakfast. I was just, I could not wait to be there. I was nervous. <laughs> Why is that not a surprise? <laughs> Matthew was so excited. I was nervous for so many things. The vows, which by the way, we decided we were going to write ourselves. 
Okay, get to that. And I was nervous about my sunset. Was it going to happen? Was I going to get the perfect sunset? Or would it be a cloudy day? Would it be a cloudy day? And of course, I was like, are we even going to find shirts? This is almost set up to be a disaster at this point. For me, I was so worried about all these little little things. So I right. guess at the very end, I did become a little bit okay. anxious. Okay. I can't believe we didn't even mention the pengrooms and the and the wedding invitation. We didn't even mention. No, I, th- I thought we were going to mention that. Can we just squeeze that in here? For anybody that doesn't realize, the children's book that I wrote, The Pengrooms, was based on the wedding invitations that we sent out for this wedding. Yes. Uh, because Paul said, we need to take a picture. And I said... I don't want to take a picture. I don't want to send people a picture of us. Like, really? No. They know what we look like. Why don't you right. draw us? Yeah. Because I knew you- Paul would not like like it if I just said, no photos. Right. So, But if I turned it around into a little art project, a little art project. then you might oh, like it. Oh, is that? You were just manipulating me. I know. A little bit. So he but you said, probably thought I would do two cute little grooms. I didn't. Well, yeah. I thought maybe you'd like try to draw us. Right. Or do two little grooms, Which but instead, cute. while I was at work, you drew the two penguins. With the rainbow bow ties. The pen grooms. And I called them the pen grooms. And that's how this whole penguin stuff got started. Right. Because Matthew yeah. refused to take a photo yes. for the wedding invitation. So for any pen grooms fans out there, it really started with Matthew. With it Matthew wouldn't exist without Matthew's stubborn. stubborn insistence that there be no photo on our invitation. Started but with like, a jackass. Honestly, no. But it ended with a penguin. But really, I feel like that is sort of like one of those beautiful serendipitous things. Like that was the spark. That I could lit, be stubborn more often if we want to spark more things. Spark that lit I'll the spark you every day. candle. <laughs> You do already. Okay. So I, I just wanted to squeeze that in there. I know the chronology is off in the storytelling. Yeah. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that oh. is an important thing. Oh, here's a picture. Here's what? a picture Where? of the Where? pengrooms. We'll put it up on the screen. Oh, oh. Here's the picture of the original pengrooms. Yes. This is how they looked. The OG pengrooms. They evolved by the time they became part of my children's They look a little books. different than they do now in the books. Yes. Notice the, the astute observer. The astute, the astute observer. observer. Oh, we'll I notice think they're the differences. obviously different, but you uh, don't. I'm the artist. I mean, so. there are differences, but yeah, you're the artist. All right. And we sent these out to everyone, and it was super cute. We put a map of Zewantaneo on the back. On the back of the of them. invitation. It did become a bit of a, a, a little theme on the day, too, and we incorporated it in some other fun ways. Which we'll, we'll get to. We'll get to that. Okay. Okay. Now what? As you look back on our wedding planning yes. period. As your Mr. blind husband looks back. As you gaze back. <laughs> and take it all in. Take it all in. Is there anything that you regret about our wedding planning? Anything you would do differently? Anything, any advice? Yeah. I have a couple. Maybe okay. one thing. What about you? I have some. You do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for sure. Let us divulge okay. those things on the extended episode today. Oh, damn it. Oh, you, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, for crying in a bucket, Paul. Okay. <laughs> Why do you always blame me? You pre-decided this would be the extended portion. And then you put it on me. I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Good cop, bad cop. It works every time. All right. Let's move over to the... We, we will stay here, but we're moving over okay. to the extended. Yeah. So, couple regrets. Couple regrets? Yeah. Like, relationship... Couple goals slash hashtag couple, couple regrets. I have a couple of regrets regarding the wedding planning. Oh. Okay, if you missed our biggest regrets when it came to the wedding planning, you can go and listen, watch us talk about that at patreon.com forward slash Matthew and Paul. Or if you are on YouTube, it's right here. The next time we get together and we talk about this, we are going to be talking about the actual wedding day. Did I get my sunset? Did we get our shirts? What did our shirts look like? Did Matthew break his rule? Of no musicians at weddings? no musicians? Oh, it might have gone like wildly in the opposite direction, you guys. Like, (laughs) shush.